What's this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And Jean Tingre Lacaze. Is this the one you were looking yeah. for? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've always wanted this. And I knew that it was shaped like this, but I just, and I knew it was this side of yeah, did you hear that. that? Well, it's oh. most famous oldest. Famous. Oh. But yeah, no, this, um, her, uh, like, the name that she's buried under, and people don't know why, mm. this guy was like, kind of the person that she bought her home with mm -hmm. he's more like a business partner but she's listed as being like having his last name but there's no proof they were married or anything that's interesting because huh. she was known as emma merlotten mm -hmm. and yeah in 18 i think it's 1885 yeah mm. um a french courtesan as it were oh. so i've always i knew that she was buried here and i knew that it was kind of shaped like this so i but i've always you think missed it, was like it. That because like they felt bad it also could be that she i mean she had a lot of money when she yeah. died she was a very she was pretty well to do and she apparently she literally was a hooker with a heart of gold they said that she would like always like give money to homeless people and like help oh, kids yeah. and stuff and yeah because yeah i think it says yeah december 22nd 1885 and jean yeah because i think she was french yeah Still keeping my eye out for a, a tall, pointed at the top headstone. That's apparently what our buddy Ace is buried under. Look at it, look at it. Oh man, look at that. Oh, that looks prominent. That looks promising. Oh yeah, Tibbetts. I actually recognize the name. There's a street named after them too. Yeah, pretty much any big prominent one I want to see just to see what the name is on them. Yeah, maybe Tibbetts, um, that was the name, um, the, the theater. Um, the, fa the, 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 um, the one with the pink elephants. Oh, you're talking about uh, uh, the um, Oriental? Yes, it was called Tibbetts Oriental. Why did you see pink elephants? Because there's pink elephants in there. Because it was called Tibbetts Theater. Oh, that was Oriental. the name. Yeah, but it was Tibbetts Oriental Theater. Oh. So maybe Tibbetts, maybe this is the guy. Oh, shit. Or one of them. Oh, yeah, there's Hawthorne. There's the Hawthorne one. Oh shit, yeah, Uh oh. I like it. I like it. This is very phallic. I'm I I don't know about that. That's that's something else. I'm not impressed. Um Yeah, yeah, James Hawthorne. Born Mercer, Pennsylvania. Entered into rest 1881. Jeepers creepers. Oh, this was a daughter. Yeah. 1879, 1885. Wait, there's this. Oh, wow, look at the iron gray. Oh, I think I found Ace and Lovejoy. Did you? <gasps> you queen. Oh, I'm pretty good. Man. Also, Doofer, is that like Doofer Oregon? Probably, um, maybe. <laughs> Because the pictures I saw of it, all I saw was that it was next to a path. I just happened to look up. It was like God was The sun is hitting it perfect. It's like not hitting any other stones except his.
He was also smart too. It would have been really weird if we had two big Bostons. <laughs> we probably would have been called like West Boston or something. And he's technically considered the founder of Portland. Yeah. Because he was, I think, yeah, because he was the one from Portland, and then Petty Grove was the guy from the Boston. One Trail, then? Probably. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So he died in 18. So is this his actual. Yeah, look, look at this. What? Oh, I mean, no, I'm saying like to Jinx, like if that's his oh, actual Oh, yeah, thing. this is his actual thing. That's why I'm like dusting it off. Yeah, because I'm like, man, come on. Like, this guy named our freaking city, and you can't even like keep this mud off of his. You put some respect on this name. Jeez, I'm out here doing your work. That's, yeah, there we go. That's better. He probably was. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> yeah. There we go. There you go, Asa. <laughs> Nothing but love. <laughs> My dirty fingers. Yeah, this was only made in the 43, so maybe I bet you he was buried here first, and then someone was like, hold up. Yeah. He needs more respect. He needs more. Guy. So they made that. And I gave you all the respect I could. <laughs> Yeah, that's not. That's very nice. Oh yeah, dedicated, erected oh, by friends in forty three. No, I just lost it because I was pissed about this. <laughs> Killing me right now. So yeah, so yeah, this is this is <laughs> this is all they gave him. Like like that big one over there. What did that clown ever do? <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you the grave whisperer? Was it? Oh, sorry. I was walking over. Well, yeah, that is the Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. Because like yeah, I think he had a short name. Was it Frank Olson? Olson. Olson. That just to me, like. Yeah, because that's the Oregon, you know. Thank you. That's that is, that is the boy. So am I the grave whisperer or what? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I was a little, it was a little snooty. Dorothy, ah. what does that mean? They're kid Dorothy. I'm wondering. Thomas, maybe? No, because there's um, there's um, an old building in the Yam Hill Historical District that's called Strobridge oh. Block. So I'm wondering if, because this guy seems to be the alpha of the family. Is there? So the maybe reason why there are so many like um kind of like Slavic Russian Th that's that's actually a common thing just in a lot of cemetery. I think it's just that there's a lot of them that have come here. Cuz like every every it. cemetery I go to, I see a lot of people of like Slavic just, ancestry. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. And a lot of them do the pictures. Yeah. It's interesting. Because... True. Holman, this is kind of a big one. Yeah, I wonder if Holman Lane's named after them. James Holman. I just want to look at this, oh, this one. Is an one. Okay, I'm freezing. Looks like they're about painted on there. Yeah, it looks like Rurock, Svetlana. Oh, this looks like this was maybe a picture? No, no, it just got taken off, I think. I thought maybe it was uh, a picture. It's just in, it's like a tile formed gravestone. Oh, this is rough <laughs> steps. Like yeah. Blue Stevens. Oh, man. This one is flat on its face. That almost looks like it happened recently, but it could just be that it's been sitting like that. Yeah. I don't like it, but I have to see it every time I come. Like, he looks... I mean, he's creepy, but he looks okay, but she looks like she wants to kill you. Yeah, she yeah don't, these are the people who... They, like, basically founded this 
area? Or I think it's like, I want to say they own the land and mm. they gave it so that this, the cemetery could be built. But I'm assuming this is them yeah. since it's, exactly. and they're probably, <laughs> yeah. Amor Stevens, father of J.B. Stevens. I feel like they're both gonna rise from the grave and beat my ass. How's that? How's that for a family uh, portrait? She looks like she's about to choke me out. Oh my god! I like it. I mean, no, I appreciate what you did. I just want to say that you guys. I love it. Really yeah. What you well did was dressed. very kind, and it's really, it's really not their fault that they look like this. It's whoever no, no, made no, this. No, this is you guys are impeccably dressed. That is, that is true. I mean, look at this feather. Look, look at this <laughs> bow ties. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the penny. Yeah, and the feather. Oh. There's a penny I keep wanting. Oh. Oh yeah, here's their stuff oh, yeah. on the back. Oh, yeah. Elizabeth and James Stevens. I wonder if Stevens Street is named after them. Here we lie by consent after 57 years, two months, and two days, sojourning through life, awaiting nature's immutable laws to return us back to the elements of the universe of which we were first composed. Yeah. That's some some interesting verbiage. That's some, like, um, Heaven's Gate type and talk. sojourning, that is such an interesting, yeah. that's like a verb, right? Yeah, interesting. It's not a super common last name. In memory of, is that O.H. Lounsdale? I'm assuming Lounsdale Square is named after this guy. He died in 1860-something. Yeah, and I mean, this is the prominent part. So I feel like prominent people, like who's here? But yeah, I'm, I'm guessing, could be wrong, that Lounsdale Square is named after him. Why do I feel like this has to be somebody famous? Oh, it says Carruther. It's singular. So I'm thinking of Carruthers um, Street. Carruthers Street. But this just says Carruther. So it's singular. But it says they were pioneers. Huh? Oh, yeah. I've been. I keep forgetting where this is at. Well, yeah. They said I'll be there in a second. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, maybe there's like a KKK member buried here. Wouldn't surprise me. Hey, here's where Edward Cullen's relatives. <laughs> not all, not all of them, not all of them got turned into vampires. John and Anne didn't. Because they have to pretend like they. Oh yeah, who are John and Anne then? Is is this really Carlisle? <laughs> But he was like, just call me yeah, John. He changed his name. Yeah. He changed, yeah. And yeah. Anthony is like, yeah. Yeah, because it, it's been all damaged. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Efforts are underway to restore the tomb of two trailblazers in the Oregon beer industry. Brothers That's right. I forgot about that. Brother George Sorry. Michael Bottler and George Frederick Bottler. After immigrating from Germany, the brothers worked as barrel makers in Indiana. They later moved to the Pacific Northwest and established some of the area's first breweries, including City Brewery, the second in Portland. The Butler legacy was cut short when both brothers died during the 1860s. Wow. And then this is what they get. So they like had billies. Before That's the way our store in, right? <laughs> see what These are like. Jones. Oh yeah, and this one's broke. Snapped right off. Yeah, there's a little... You know me, I love taking a little piece of history, but it's not mine to take. <laughs> it's after something's demolished that I, 
I say, hey, can I can I have one of those bricks, buddy? Yeah. How cool is it? Look at all the it's been damaged. Yeah.